Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the Bitcoin price is perfectly bouncing from this important level of support, and that is happening while the Bitcoin market is sitting in extreme fear. So I'll be talking about that in just a moment, alongside what it will take to see a generational Bitcoin buying opportunity later in this video. But just before we get into that, let's quickly take a look at the four-hour Bitcoin chart, and you can see that technically speaking, we are still in this short-term downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows. But in the immediate short term, if you looking at the four hour RSI, we have just made some higher lows while the Bitcoin price has put in a lower low. So that there is a bullish divergence, which basically means in the immediate short term, we could be due for a bit of sideways price action or perhaps a slight move back to the upside. But keep in mind, this is obviously a very small bullish divergence. So I wouldn't be expecting too much out of that. But we still have this Bitcoin fractal on the four hour time frame potentially still playing out. In fact, the recent bounce in the Bitcoin price that we are pretty much experiencing at the time of recording this video has come into play just at the right time according to this Bitcoin fractal. And if you are new to this channel, I explained more about this Bitcoin fractal in yesterday's Bitcoin update video. But basically all you need to know is this fractal is this previous price action, but inverted. And over the past one week, it has been playing out perfectly. So if it simply continues to play out, then we could be possibly in for one more dip to the downside before then we start bottoming out. But keep in mind, a Bitcoin fractal should not be taken as an exact prediction. Instead, it should be taken taken more as a guideline for what is possible for Bitcoin. And at the moment, the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index is giving us an extreme fear reading, which does make sense considering the recent price action. And as I've already explained in previous Bitcoin update videos, I take this signal as a longer term buying opportunity. But keep in mind, even though I might pick up some Bitcoin at around these sort of prices, that does not change the fact that we're still sitting in a short term downtrend. For example, on this 12 hour Bitcoin chart, of course, the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is still sitting in the red. But what we have only just seen over the past one day is the 12 hour RSI enter into oversold territories for the first time since around the 24th of January. So pretty much one month ago. And if you're looking at the Bitcoin price at that stage, after experiencing a decent amount of bearish price action and having the parabolic stop and reverse indicator in the red, we then began to bottom out, at least in the shorter term, as the 12 hour RSI was entering into these oversold territories. So technically speaking, this could be seen as a bullish signal, but keep in mind that still doesn't change the shorter term trend. But looking in the 12 hour MACD, we're technically still trending to the downside. So we haven't necessarily confirmed a reversal in the shorter term just yet. But something good for us Bitcoin holders was the fact that the Bitcoin price held above that $37,000 level of support. Obviously, if you've been watching my Bitcoin videos over the past one week or so, I've been looking at these two levels, especially over the past few days. And those levels were 39 and a half thousand and 37,000. And we did find some short term supports for around two days at 39 and a half thousand. And then the moment which we dropped below that support level, we immediately dropped down to pretty much exactly 37,000 and then saw a bounce there as expected. And not only that, while we're on the daily time frame for Bitcoin, looking in the VPVR indicator, we've got a massive cluster of volume starting at around 38 and a half thousand and going down towards around 35,000. So basically for the beginners out there, that entire price range would act as support for the Bitcoin price. And so if Bitcoin drops below 35,000, then according to this indicator, we don't have a whole lot of support below that. So at least at the time of recording this video, it is definitely good to see the Bitcoin price hold above this first major cluster of volume that I just mentioned. And another reason why Bitcoin really needs to stay above around 34 to 35,000 is because of this parabolic stop and reverse indicator on the four day time frame. And the reason why that is the case is because the most recent green dot is coming in at just above 34,000. And how this indicator works is if the Bitcoin price drops below these green dots, then that basically flips this indicator back into the red. And and if something like that happened here on the four day time frame, obviously that would not be good. But while this indicator on this four day time frame is still sitting in the green, obviously that is a good thing for Bitcoin. You can simply take a look at this previous price action anytime this indicator was sitting in the green. So yes, at least as of right now, this bearish price action that we've been experiencing over the past one week or so is still just in the shorter term according to this indicator on this time frame. But what would actually happen if we do end up breaking below these areas of support that I just mentioned? And if larger indicators indicators like this flip bearish again, what should our game plan be? Now, just before I go any further, I am not saying that this is definitely going to happen. All I'm saying is that we should be prepared with a few different strategies depending on what actually happens in the Bitcoin price. Because the last thing you want to happen to you in crypto is if you experience unpredictable price action that you had no idea was coming, and then you are not prepared, you have no plan of action, and you end up making sudden decisions in the moment. And more often than not, those sudden decisions that you make in the moment turn out to be not 
great decisions, especially if you are new to the crypto markets. So it is mostly because of that reason that we need to discuss a few different scenarios so that if we do end up seeing a bullish reversal from here, we have our plan of action in place for that scenario. But if these bullish signals fail, at least we have another plan of action that we could go with if a more bearish scenario plays out. So with that being said, if we do end up seeing a break below those support levels that I just mentioned and these larger indicators start flipping bearish again, then first of all, I'll be looking towards two main support levels. This low that we experienced around a month ago coming in at around 33,000 and anything below that, I'll be looking towards the May, June and July lows coming in at around 29 to 30,000 and anything below that level of support would not be good for the Bitcoin price because of how much support we've developed at that level and also because of the fact that while the Bitcoin price was running from around 10,000 up to 60,000, we didn't really stop off to make a lot of support along the way. In fact, in that bull run late 2020 and early 2021, our first stop off was in January 2021 and of course we found support at around 30,000. So that is why it could possibly turn out to be dangerous if we drop below around 30,000. But with that being said, zooming much further out on the chart, this is dating all the way back since the 2013 bull market. And this indicator that I've got on the chart right here is the 1,000 day simple moving average. And what I've found very interesting about this 1,000 day moving average is the fact that any time the Bitcoin price drops below this moving average, that gives us a generational buying opportunity, which means the only times that we really get to experience the Bitcoin price below this moving average is either at a bear market bottom, like what we saw back in 2015, and also like what we saw at the end of the 2018 bear market, or if we see a rare black swan event, like what we experienced in March 2020. Now, once again, I want to remind you that I am not saying that this is definitely going to happen from here. All I'm saying is if it does happen, if we do see more of a bearish scenario play out, according to Bitcoin's entire price history around this moving average, simply buying Bitcoin below this moving average is usually the best buying opportunity that you can get. And if you're wondering about where this moving average is coming into play, it is currently sitting at around 25 to 26,000. And according to history, we would likely only get there if that was basically the bottom of a Bitcoin bear market, or if we saw something like a major stock market crash, like what we saw in the beginning of 2020. And if you're wondering what my longer term Bitcoin strategy is, currently I am dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, especially while we're sitting in extreme fear. But if we do end up seeing Bitcoin prices below this 1000 day moving average again, then personally, I'll be going a lot heavier into Bitcoin. Now that is not financial advice, that is just telling you my personal strategy. Feel free to let me know about your opinions on this in the comment section down below. And also feel free to share your Bitcoin strategy because obviously your Bitcoin strategy does not have to be the same as mine. So I'll be interested to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And if you want to earn extra money in the crypto market, whether that's through passive income or trading crypto, then you should definitely check out these two videos popping up right here for more crypto gains. But anyway, that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.